everybody so today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute um, hair bow that you can make by yourself instead of going to like Forever 21 or American Apparel and buying one which is like 8 to 12 dollars and you can just make one yourself and they're super easy um, what you're going to need is some sort of fabric I just cut up a piece of from like an old t-shirt that is perfectly fine um, you're going to want like a decent size um, but we're going to be cutting it, like, smaller, anyhow. Um, but yeah, this is, like, like, if you want, like, a pretty decent size you can work with, um, you're going to want some scrap fabric. Um, but I'm sure, like, whatever you cut off is what you'll need. You're going to need, um, little rubber bands. These are just some dental rubber bands I had when I had braces. I had, like, packs of these. But if you can't find little rubber bands, um, the hair ones will do well as well. You need some sort of glue. I'm using a normal Elmer's glue and a paintbrush because it's easier to obey. Um, and you're going to want a pair of scissors. And yes, yeah, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm just going to fold this in okay and you're gonna do it on both sides oops too much so you guys can see what I'm doing okay so you're gonna fold it in okay so you're gonna see where you need to cut and this is basically the form of the bow so I'm going to cut roughly this in half and this is um, once you cut in half you can actually make two bows okay so get rid of the other piece now you're left with this so you're going to fold it in towards the middle okay and you're gonna get this you're gonna get two flaps like this and you're pretty much going to glue them down um, so taking the glue actually put them back in half hopefully they're about the same size it's going to make it easier when you actually make the bow itself. So lifting up one flap, leaving the other one down so you guys you know where to place it. You're just going to take the glue and place it right on the ends. And again, a little bit goes a pretty long way. You can also use a hot glue gun if you want to get this done. Um, a lot quicker of course hot glue gun is optional or even fabric glue just gonna push this down okay and do the same thing on the other side it is optional to glue um, beforehand the flaps down so that they're not gonna move but I've never had any issue um and what's cool about this is that if you wanted to like you could buy little clips and glue the clip on but that is hot glue gun required um if you wanted it permanently but this is the one where you can make it interchangeably um the two clips I've used are like these kind of ones or you could even, if you don't have that, use a bobby pin. Um, if you use the bobby pin, get the longer ones so that there's more stability in it. Okay, so you're just going to place that other flap down. Okay, so now you're just going to take a textbook and put this on there. And leave it on there for about a half hour to 45 minutes so that the glue 
um, sticks to the fabric. So just leave it on there. Um, and how I did this was I took the rubber band and I squished it together. Um, okay, so I'm just going to roughly show you guys. So that's been about 25 minutes. So you're left with this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to squish this together just like so. Okay, and as you can see there's the bow. You're going to take one of the small rubber bands and place it around it and put it right in the center so that it holds the fabric together. Yeah, you roughly want to put it right in the middle. Okay, so just kind of play with it a little bit. Okay, until you get that. Next, you're going to take any piece of um, fabric, just any like random piece, and you're just going to wrap it around. Glue down the first piece and then wrap it around. So where the second piece meets, glue that piece down, and then there you go. You have your bow. And what's cool about this is that um, instead of permanently having the clip on there, um, you can just slide it. Okay, so this would be the back because that's where everything is. You just basically slide the clip through. So if this was the clip... What you do is just slide it right through, and then there you go. You have your cute little hair bow. So this is how I made hair bows. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys actually do it. Bye.